The White House announces the United States has reached President Biden's goal of getting at least one vaccine shot into the arms of 70% of adults one month after the target date. But with the Delta variant still spreading, federal health officials have still not approved additional shots for increased COVID protection. As CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us, it may not be necessary, at least for now. When it comes to vaccination rates and protection from COVID, you could argue that the U.S. is a tale of two nations, at least when you look at those rates state by state. Connecticut is more than 95% fully vaccinated for its most vulnerable citizens, those 65 and older, while in Alabama, barely over a third of those 18 to 64 have received both shots. And now that the highly infectious Delta variant is widely circulating, there's much talk of needing a third shot of the present vaccines to provide better protection. So why aren't public health officials at the FDA and CDC looking into that so-called booster shot? Actually, they are. It's just that according to the chief medical officer at Yale New Haven Health, that's not the best expenditure of our vaccine efforts. We know from good data from the United Kingdom that uh, that was just published about a week ago that uh, the Pfizer vaccine is about 88% protective against specifically the Delta variant. A third shot is not going to confer anywhere near as much population protection as getting uh, the primary series into folks who haven't been vaccinated yet. Israel has approved a third booster shot precisely because that country has an extremely high full vaccination rate and they are focusing those boosters on their most vulnerable citizens, those who are immunocompromised and those over age 60 because their immunity will wane with time. As long as there are large pockets of unvaccinated people, there will be massive numbers of virus particles replicating and mutating into new variants, some of which could be even more dangerous than Delta. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. And do stay with CBS 2 News for continuing coverage on the coronavirus pandemic. We have CDC guidance, the latest on masking policies and vaccination locations, all on our website, cbsnewyork.com.